So Australia win the toss. They put the Czech Republic into serve with uh, Marquetas Lukova to get the action underway. That's a good start from Australia. Talika Clancy, no problem at all there. What I like in the first point on the board is superb communication between the Australian athletes. Yeah, they have some really great chemistry and they're going to have to put it all together today. I think a huge key for Australia is going to be that serve reception and, of course, the defense in the backcourt from Artacho. And she gets that ball up and is able to get the kill in the deep corner. She takes a look at the defense. And Marketa Slukova just a half second too late on that one. Well, you said it's all about serve receive and uh, Marketa Slukova just looking a little slow along with her partner Hermanova. Both of these teams have had a good warm-up session on the outside courts, but uh, not looking uh, that sharp just yet. Three very quick points on the board for the Australians. There's a four. And uh, they need to wake up a little bit here, the Czech Republic. You know what? It is a, it's a very early match, you know. Traditionally, on Sunday, the finals are a little bit later. Today, they're a little earlier. That means that the semifinals have to start a little earlier. And I don't know what is happening right now, but Marketa Slukova is having all sorts of trouble tracking the serve. She has shanked balls left and right, and this thing getting out of control early. The Czech Republic still yet to get on the board, and they're burning a timeout. So check this out. Ball comes in off that left arm, and as soon as she passes it, she just knows that something's not right she's gonna think it over and maybe didn't have quite the warm-up that she would have liked it's gonna be a challenge for this team sunday morning blues i think the uh, czech republic are suffering from here it's an amazing start for australia 5-0 up against the winners of the vienna major and uh, looking very calm that's uh, Talika Clancy, now 26 uh, years of age. They used to play together back in 2012, then they went their separate ways with other partners, the Australian duo, back together for the 2018 season. So this is just their 13th FIVB match together. They're on track for their best result of the season. If they can continue this impressive start, and they certainly can. Uh, Talika Clancy getting the better. Of Herman over at the net, let's 6 0 up. Wow. Yeah, this, uh, you know, I've never seen Herman over and Slukova in this type of a situation right now, having very difficult time just handling the ball. And finally, a roll shot over the block of Clancy lands in the sand. Marketa Slukova takes a look, goes over the top of the block, and finally gets a point on the board. So. It's a big challenge for the Czech Republic, a team that is seated second in this tournament, where Australia is seated seventh. So on paper, they are the favorite, and that's how you get back in it right there. Some tough serves, and that's got to feel good. If you're Australia right now, you cannot let up. You need every single point, and Clancy doesn't even make a move for that. So she's going to have to really assert herself and try to keep this lead. Starting to get back into the groove now. That's a good shot, though, from Atacho going over on two. There's a pass close to the net, and as a right-sider, Artacho going on the second contact is a difficult play, but she makes it look easy. Tali Clancy serves for Australia. Serves it right into the net, an easy point back for the Czech Republic. Now just trailing by four. Ketis Lukova serves. Oh, a little bit of confusion between the two Australian ladies. Both players going for the ball, Dane. And the shank from uh, Clancy. Now they're starting to make the serve work, the Czech Republic. Czech Republic getting back on track. Like I said, if you're Australia, you, you know, you did some early damage. Now you make sure that you keep that lead. There's a beautiful touch at the net by Hermanova, but Sukova cannot get it up. 
You know, Australia, they traditionally love to go over on that second contact. It's, it's really part of their offense, and it's something that is a risky play because you're forcing to hit on that second contact. But it's what they train to do, and they're very good at it. Barbara Lamanova's going to figure it out pretty quickly. Both these teams doing a lot of research on each other's play and style. Good hustle from Australia, and lucky not to get that ball over. But look at this uh, scoreline now, Dane. From 6-0 to 5-8. Sleepy start for the Czech Republic, but it looks like they've woken up. Yeah, they're starting to close the gap. Like I said, very uncharacteristic that they step on the court and not ready to go. Not, you know, sweating and in it mentally and physically. This is a team that is always prepared and always ready to go. And Australia kind of catching them off guard early. But you said it, Nick. They're getting back on track right now. And Australia couldn't have asked for a better start. It's a good big serve from Herman over again. But this time, Achacho beats the Czech blocker with a nice little cut of the ball here. Nice fake and deception with the body language going up at the net. Here's uh, Talika Plancy with service. Kiss on the net there. And uh, Hermanova starting to play a little more aggressively, using her power and strength. Fires that ball right at the body of the Australian number two here. Just gets her hands there to protect the face, if nothing else. A little on-two action from the Czech Republic as well, showing that they can go on that second contact. I like Clancy, her real aggressive serve, but the Czech Republic, there's that on the on the second contact. Again, that's their strength right there. If you serve Artacho, then as a left-sider, Clancy comes in, and it's very natural for her to hit that ball on the second contact, whereas when Artacho comes in, the ball has to cross her body. It's a little more difficult of a move. Here is Artacho with service for Australia. Serving to uh, Marketa Slikova on the attack now for the Czech Republic. Well, they're chasing everything down now. There's a slight urgency in the play from the Czech Republic. Look at Artacho. So quick, gets that ball up. Clancy tries to go over on the second contact. And Slikova. Trying to control it, but can't handle that one. So Australia back up by five points. Five. It's a good shot from uh, Marketa Smikova, just 30 years of age from uh, Prague. Great little finesse shot. Luca Clancy, a great blocker, takes up a lot of space, so sometimes you don't want to challenge her, you just want to try to get that ball around her. Here's Herman over with service. That's a shot over the top of the block, down the line from uh, Marif uh, Artacho, originally born in Peru, but now resides in uh, Adelaide, as we said earlier. Twelfth season on the FIVB World Tour, but uh, this is their first uh, final four in a five-star event of the 2018 season. Certainly looking to finish on a high note. And here's her partner with service, Talika Clancy. Big serve to Slukova. Czech Republic do well to keep the ball up, but uh, they're out of position, aren't they? Scrambling to try and find the answers to this big serve from Clancy. Australia's serve has put a lot of pressure on the Czech Republic. They're going to have to receive serve a little bit better if they're going to get themselves back into this. And right now, it seems like Artacho and Clancy playing with all sorts of confidence. And that's a better shot. Cross court from uh, Marketa Slukova. Total of 21 points on the board means that we have a, a technical time at halfway point of the opening set in the first of the two semis here in the Rottenbaum Stadium of Hamburg. Australia off to a flying start. 
almost catching the Czech Republic asleep on the court. It looked that way. Six points came so quickly, but slowly but surely, the Czech Republic finding their groove coming back into this game. And now I'd say, Dane, they're pretty evenly matched out there on court, but Australia did the damage early on. Yeah, it's like that damage still exists, that, that nice little cushion that they built early on. But you're right now, the teams are settling in back and forth, playing pretty evenly. If Australia can just settle in and continue their game, like you mentioned, they already got that cushion, and they should be in good shape. Support in the crowd for the Australians. As Dane's already pointed out, this is an early start to the day by beach volleyball standards. Now, coming into the second half of the opening set, the Czech Republic need to raise their game to another level. Artacho on the right side, the 24-year-old, five foot nine, jumps really well, and quite the athlete going right at Marketa Slukova. She doesn't get her arms there. Slukova's having some trouble tracking the ball today. She seems very surprised when the ball's going off her arms left and right, and there is a float serve. Now their target is Hermanova, which is interesting. Slukova giving up a lot of points on serve received, and now the Australians switch it up and catch Hermanova asleep. This Australian team, very dangerous. Already won two events. In 2018, they won the three-star in Lucerne, and they also won the Espinho Portugal four-star event. So they know how to close, and they know how to finish. And both of these players, Clancy and Artacho, Olympians in the 2016 games with different partners. Artacho played with Nikki Laird. They finished 19th. Clancy played with Louise Baden, and they finished in fifth place, so that's quite the finish just outside of those medal rounds for Clancy, so she knows how to play in the big one. And as you mentioned, then they re reunited these two in 2018, and they're looking strong. This would be a huge finish for them if they make it on the podium, and to win this, wow, would that be spectacular got to respect the way that Australia are mixing it up. There's no one clear strategy from the ladies in the white and blue vests. Here's Barbara Hermanova with the service for the Czech Republic. They've just picked off the last two points, but they're still five behind Australia. Well, without being too hard on the Czech Republic, Slikova is not having the game that we expected to, her to have. Still struggling. Good footwork by Artacho to get around that ball, and Slukova just could not read that cut shot coming. Another big serve from Clancy. Hermanova's picked it up this time. That's a lovely shot from Hermanova right on the line. Still five behind. Nice turn away from her body and down the line. Artacho was in the spot, but that shot was just too good. Well, Artacho is having a good game. She really is, uh, as the smallest player on the court, by far the busiest. Getting a lot of action from the Czech Republic, but her vision is solid. She sees Slukova sliding to her left. This is a great look at a knuckle poke shot, we call it, over the block. You see that focus, that determination in the eyes as she gets that ball to fall. Slukova way underneath that set. Looked like she had an early approach, had to jump backwards. And that ball goes directly out of bounds. So 
right now, Australia, everything rolling their way, creating their own luck, really playing at a high level in the Czech Republic. Having all sorts of difficulty. There's an on to contact by Hermanova. And in a situation like this, all you can do is try to focus on the basics and get back to what has got you to this point. We mentioned the Czech Republic won in Vienna two weeks ago in the five star major series event. And they're looking to uh, repeat that, but. They're going to have to definitely turn up their game. There's that on two contact. And the way that you prevent that is you have to serve tougher. You can't allow Artacho to control that pass and put it up right on the net because that is their strongest rotation right there when Clancy can hit that ball on the second contact. Australia looking to close this first set out now at 19 to 12. Right. And that's the best shot that we've seen from Slakova in this opening set. Still the offense a little jittery, you see. Going off of one foot, inside set. Nothing's really clean right now for the Czech Republic. They have to start playing at a higher level. That ball is out of play. Marketa Slakova. Gives the Australians a set point, 20 to 13. Mariafa Artacho with the serve, targeting Slukova. And that is out of play, another poor shot from Marqueta Slukova. And 21 to 13, well that's a scoreline, Dane, that none of us would have predicted before the start of this first semi-final. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised right now. I've never seen this team play like this. They're, they just look like they're not ready to go. And sometimes that can happen. Looking at the match statistics here, four aces for Australia, one block. That was enough to really create that separation. And they made it look easy in that first set. Czech Republic not really playing the, the way that we're accustomed to see. And now the big question is, can they recover in the second set? Taking a look at the Australia serve placement. They're going to Slukova 71% of the time, although they did have success when they went to Hermanova as well. But Marketa Slukova shanked a couple of balls, and that really set the tone for that first set. And they're going to have to come out a lot more solid. If you're Ch the Czech Republic, you got to receive serve so you can run your offense. But more importantly, you have to serve tougher so that Australia is not able to run their favorite play. And that's hitting the ball over on two. Here we go with the second set. It's a must-win scenario now for the Czech Republic to take it to a third set tie break. As that Marketa Slukova just trickles that ball over the top of the net with the opening serve. But again, Artacho is there, the number one for Australia. She's been uh, such a dynamic and uh, quick-moving player around the court. As we said at the beginning of the semi-final, the Czech Republic beat Australia in pool play. Perhaps they came out just feeling a little too confident and uh, playing just a little too casual. Well, if you look at the history, these two teams, they've played twice. As you mentioned, one of them was in Vienna, and one of them was in pool play earlier in this tournament. So two very recent meetings between these two teams. And the last meeting went 16-14 in the third set, the tiebreak set, with Australia coming up just a couple points short, and there's that over on two. So my point being, 21-18 is the biggest difference, a three-point difference whenever they've played any set. So they always are very close. But Australia right now playing with way more confidence and way more spark. setting up her partner Clancy perfectly on the outside and Clancy ripping the angle so Australia right now putting all sorts of pressure and not letting up and that's what you want to do when you notice that a team is is down you kind of smell the blood that you go in for that attack and you don't let up and that's Australia at the moment 
Yeah, they certainly have an air of confidence about them. They're looking to wrap this up in two sets here, Australia. Already with a break of three to one. Clancy with the service. Again, the target is Lukova, who is struggling with her serve receive. And Artacho having no problem at all. Oh, great shot from uh, Hermanova. That's a little more like the speed of play that we've grown used to this season from the Czech Republic. Well, it's a smart play, and it's been difficult. There's another shank pass. Hermanova's in trouble, has to lay it out and back set. Australia has an opportunity, and Artacho's got to put that ball away, and somehow Her Hermanova goes to that deep corner and gets the winner. So situations like that where you have Hermanova and Slukova on the ropes, you have to capitalize. Service error from Slukova. Keeps Australia too clear of the Czech Republic 4-2. It's just not going Slukova's way at all this match. Altaccio serving Slukova, who now on the attack for the Czech Republic, goes cross-court, gets one arm there, Altaccio. Remember, the Czech Republic must win this second set to take it into a third set tie-break. Left-hand uh, attempt by Artacho. Look at the focus in Taliqua Clancy's eyes as she gets high above the net, trying to get that poke shot, trying to make that ball go a little bit higher so Artacho on the background can run it down. Well, we've uh, been mentioning it since the start of this semi-final. The Australians' favourite play is to go over on two. And the Czech Republic have just not been ready for the speed of movement there. That serves too big from Clancy. Well left by the ladies in uh, red and white here. No! Oh! Yes! Scores are tied at five all. It was a nice set to the outside by Clancy and Looks like Artacho gets a little bit underneath it. And what happens is she can't get on top of the ball and the ball floats a little bit too long. If I'm the Czech Republic right now, I'm serving Artacho as much as possible, but you have to serve her tough because she wants to tee up her partner on the second contact. There it is once again. You know it's coming, but it's very difficult to stop. There's the pass by Artacho. Clancy placing it right high off the block of Hermanova. Yeah, yeah. It's over on two. Skills and drills, but again, it's the serve received from Marketa Slukova that is the big issue for the Czech Republic. I don't know what is going on, and I think Marketa Slukova is asking the same question. I just think maybe she's not watching the ball all the way into her arm. Sometimes you take your eye off the ball, those last foot and a half where the ball's about to touch your arm, and she just has to really over-exaggerate it and watch that ball all the way in. Like I said, really focus on going back to the basics because she's given up a lot of easy points on that serve reception. Coming over with service. Well, well, it was more of a reaction shot than uh, an attacking play, but right now the Czech Republic will take any point anywhere, any time. But uh, Hermanova dropping off the net here, mission accomplished. Yeah, and we noted that yesterday, Hermanova getting really good at dropping off the net and 
digging that overhand ball coming right at her face. She's made some massive improvements in the last couple of weeks since Vienna. And now when she drops off the net, she's having all sorts of success. That ball hits the X in the corner for Clancy. So that's a huge side out as Australia still has control and in the lead. Well, that's out of play. We're getting some reports from Julius Brink, who's our courtside reporter, Dane. Uh, that he believes that there could be an issue with the shoulder of uh, Marketa uh, Snukova. Uh, word is, is that she damaged it in that uh, five-star Vienna Major final at the beginning of the month. And, uh, well, we're all looking for reasons as to why Snukova is off her game. And that uh, maybe it's a shoulder issue. We can see it's quite heavily taped, but this is clearly not the Marketa Snukova that we saw on uh, August the 7th winning the Vienna Major and winning it in style against Brazil. Yeah, she she could be suffering from a, sh a shoulder injury. She's got that uh, kinetic tape that, that they use now. A lot of players use that for support. Yeah. And there's a shank ball by Artacho. So a lot of aces happening on both sides of the net. Artacho usually very good at controlling the ball. Shanks that one to the right. Clancy can't even make an attempt to go for it. But yeah, if Slukova is suffering from that shoulder injury, it can be very challenging. And maybe she's having some trouble putting those arms together when she's passing. I can see it really bothering her attacking, but she's playing defense. You see she's laying it out. And so, I don't know if the injury is actually causing her difficulties in serve receive or the fact that she's maybe focused on that injury. Sometimes the injury can be very distracting, so we don't want to speculate, but the bottom line is she's having some very difficult times receiving serve. And Australia are taking the opportunity. They can sense, they can feel that the Czech Republic are not firing on all cylinders. They've won the first set 21 to 13. That's a very impressive opening set scoreline. And we're all tied in the second set at 10 points all. Czech Republic have to win the second set, remember, to go to a third set tie break to settle this semi-final. Loser goes to the bronze medal match, the winner's head for gold, and 150,000 US dollars of record-breaking prize money. 21 points on the board, technical timeout. Halfway point, Dane, of the uh, second set. Uh, am I being a little hard on the Czech Republic here, or are we right in saying this is not the team that we saw play yesterday? Uh, not even close. I mean, we've seen this team showcased on center court for you know a couple weeks now winning in vienna they were the stars there and we know the the level that they can play right now they're kind of in survival mode they're trying to get back on track and as a player that happens you know you have some matches that nothing's going right and you can see they're just taking some time a little conversation but um you know, you don't see any anger. These two are, are very professional. They know how to win. And they're just trying to work through some tough times right here and get back on the game that we know and to play their potential. That's always the goal. When I always got on the court, it wasn't always to win, of course, the focus, but to play your best, to play to your potential. And once you play to your potential, the rest takes care of itself. The winning takes care of itself. So right now, they just want to focus on receiving serve and getting back into the groove that they know. Well, it all comes from the serve received. Slukova finally in the right position with the hands and body. And then goes over the top of Clancy's block, right at the back of the court. And that's got to be her best shot of this match so far. Scores are tied at 11 all. Slukova with service. 
and they're starting to turn it around. 12-11, a big serve to Otacho, deep into the Australian court. Australia now struggling with their receiver serve, and it's a straightforward shot for Hermanova to put it away. Nearly had her hands on that one. Scores are tied at 12 all. But believe it or not, when that scoreline went to 12 11, that was the first time the Czech Republic had taken the lead in the whole of this match so far. Now we're tied. Otacho with service for Australia. Artacho needs to hold her ground. You see her leaning forward, moving in a direction. You're not going to dig a ball when you are headed in only one direction. You only get that ball that comes right to you. She needs to stay neutral, wait for the shot, show discipline, and then run it down. Herman over with the service. Nice back set from Clancy. But she's got underneath that and hit it way too long. And now there's a break for the Czech Republic. Unforced error, out of bounds. Great drop by Hermanova at the net. Knowing that the set is not in the right place, there's a communication. What Hermanova's looking for is this set close enough to the net. She realizes it's not. She decides to drop off the net, which makes it more difficult for Artacho to hit the court. She tries to avoid the players, and look what happens. An unforced error. That's a great movement by Hermanova. Well, Australia call a timeout. Perhaps for the first time in this semi final match, just feeling the pressure. Uh, two forced errors from the number one, uh, Marif Artancho. 30 second break. Each team can call one timeout per set whenever they like. And it's usually used as a tactic to try and break the focus, break the concentration or rhythm of the opposing team. Czech Republic in the red and white, Australia in the white and blue vests. Now, Australia have won the first set at 21 to 13. The Czech players know this is a must-win situation in this second set. Great play. Hermanova will be very happy with that. And again, troubles on the serve received, but this time from Australia. Australia trying to maybe pass that ball a little too close to the net to do that over on two action that they love. And it's a risky play because if things aren't perfect, that's what happens. It's an overpass. And right there, another risky on top of the net, but the athleticism of Clancy is able to get that ball to fall to the sand. It's a risky offense that Australia plays. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, it just depends how locked in they are on that first contact and setting up their partner to go over on two. Talika Clancy, big power serve, but she's finally figured out how to control it, Slukova. Great stretch from Artaccio, can she finish? Well, great defensive play from Australia and the Czech Republic, but uh, Slukova gets on top of it at the net. There's a roll shot. Artacho extends, gets the ball up in the air. Great athleticism. And then this is the final play. She tries to poke it into the block, and you see Artacho's feet aren't under the ball. She's lunging forward. She goes right into the block. Doesn't have her balance, falls to the ground, and just cannot control the ball. Yes. Beautiful hit by Artacho. That time on the right side, kept the ball in front of her, got her feet under the ball. Technically very sound. 
therefore gets the kill. I think on that play, I'd like to see Hermanova stay at the net and put up a block. I mean, it's a really nice set close to the net. Hermanova gets in these grooves where sometimes she drops off in that fake block position a little too often. You see well, right. Tacho run on yes. that. She's releasing too early, and it's making it easy for Hermanova. Take a look at the defense. She'll come into frame right here, moving forward, and that's a guess. She's guessing that that ball's going to be short, and if she doesn't guess right, there's no way for her to move and reverse her direction. Ball is out of play. Czech Republic 18 to 14. Now, Artacho looks like she's going to challenge. Of course, the challenge in effect. Each team gets two challenges per set. She thinks this ball is in. The official call is out. Looked like it was possibly long. Yeah, that ball is just long. That's going to be ruled out of bounds. So Australia will be down to just one challenge after this. And um, if you're incorrect, you lose the challenge. Oh. Just barely, just long. She had every reason to go for the challenge, particularly with the scoreline the way it is. Also a small break in the rhythm of play for the Czech Republic. That's a smart tactic from Atacho. Can Australia get back into this second set and wrap up this semi-final? Well, with a shot like that, you think they can. 15 to 18, but again, just that little stop in play to see the challenge. Yeah, sometimes you use that challenge to strategize, like you said, a little gamesmanship, slow things down. Uh, it's within your full right to challenge if you have a challenge, and sometimes it gives you a break, and Taliko Clancy with a trickler over the net, clipping the top of the net, rolling over, almost nothing you can do if you are Hermanova. You're waiting for that ball coming in with power, and then all of a sudden it stops midair and just drops for the point. That's the big serve that the Czech Republic were expecting before. Good play from Clancy. Clancy just owning the airspace up at the net. Poke shot and then a second opportunity. Here's another shank pass to the right now. 30 feet, about eight meters off the net. And so not a good offensive attack. Clancy tries to put it away. Look at Hermanova playing some defense, but you can't give Taliko Clancy second and third opportunities because she is going to make you pay. So now the Czech Republic used their timeout. Three very quick points on the board for Australia. Within one point of the Czech Republic. Here's the deal right now. If you're Australia, you got to put this team away. Yeah. Because here's the deal. Hermanova and Slukova, they're not going to play any worse. They're not playing well, so if they can pull a magic trick and actually win this semifinal, that would be something special and it would show you something about their character, having the ability to find out how to win even when they're not playing their best volleyball. And that's really what it's all about. His Clancy with service for Australia, serving Slukova, who's now on the attack. Up she goes for the Czech Republic, over the top of the block. A perfectly placed ball, certainly justifies the call of the timeout by the Czech duo. And it is now 19-17. We could be on our way to a third set tiebreak. Slukova with service. It's a good set from Hermanova. Oh, it's there. Was it long? It was long. So many opportunities gone by. Here's a shank pass a little too close to the net. Hermanova has got to try to put that ball away. And then here against Zukova comes in a little too early. You see there's not a ton of rotation 
on the top, and she's just trying to lean that ball into the court. Looks like she just doesn't have her feel here this morning. It's too tight. Well, that's a good play from Hermanova because uh, Slikova was struggling to put it the ball where she wanted to again. But uh, Barbara Hermanova gets the Czech Republic out of trouble and into set point here, which will tie the sets of one all. We'll go into a third set tie break. Just one more point for the Czech Republic to get back into this match. Nova serves it too long. Second set point for the Czech Republic. Just need to side out now. Plenty of service for Australia. That's a big serve from the Aussie. Hermanova does brilliantly on the serve receive. Does brilliantly to put it away. 21 to 19. We're going into a third set tie break. Still not at full power, I would say, Dane, the Czech Republic. They've scraped through this second set to force a third tie break. Uh, I, I would agree 100%. They're just trying to piece it together right now and survive. And this is what they've done. They've dug themselves out of the hole. It's one all. We're going to a tie break. Remember, they have the advantage. They've played this team twice. They've won both times. The last time was 16. 14 in the third set as we look at the statistics two to one in blocks but Australia six to three in aces Australia has to be kicking themselves right now because you're not going to get Slukova and Hermanova to play any worse and so it's going to be a challenge Czech Republic serve placement set number one and set number two there you see 93 percent they're going to Artaccio she's been trying to force the on two with Clancy and it's been a bit shaky to say the least they haven't asserted themselves where I think they could have won this in two straight sets the Czech Republic still alive and right now I'd, I'd say the momentum's on the side of the Czech Republic this could be one of their biggest comebacks certainly of the 2018 season good shot from Artaccio First point on the board in this third set to Australia. Now it's a bit of a sprint. The rules and regs are just a little different in this uh, third set tiebreak. We're heading to a scoreline of 15. You still need to be two points clear. We'll side switch on five. No tech timeout to indicate the halfway point. Oh, great play from Clancy. What a turn and burn there to keep that ball up. Most impressive. No question. This is textbook volleyball. She jumps, lands, turns, gets it up, and then she gets ready and prepares offensively and puts the ball away. She did everything correctly in that play. Great teamwork by Clancy and Artacho. They strike first, two to zero. Make it three to zero as that ball goes out of bounds. Marketa Slukova, even if that shoulder is bothering her, it's, it's not the shoulder, it's her timing, it's her platform. It's way behind her body when she's contacting that pass, so she's got to try to work it back up to the net. It's just a little out of sync for her. Well, uh, the Czech Republic get their first point on the board by default of Australia's serve. But this, uh, at one point, was starting to look like a repeat of that opening set with Australia off to a flying start. But already 3-1 to one up and we're only heading to 15 is uh, impressive. Hermanova sets her partner. Good shot from uh, Marquette Slikova. Well, that's right there. That's what I don't like about Australia's offense. They force the hit on the second contact, even though Clancy was about five, six feet off the net. And it makes it very easy for Stukova to make the dig in the backcourt. Sometimes you need to play traditional. You need to play all three contacts if you don't have a good swing. Natasha yes. has put that one out. Scores a tie at three all. I mean, 
This is Australia's match to lose. They've had everything in front of them. Hermanova into the net, giving them more and more opportunities. They just, they really have to capitalize. If they let the Czech Republic stay around, the Czech Republic with their experience will probably prevail. I think Australia needs to get a cushion early. You don't want to get to 11, 12 all. Oh, great play from Artacho. An amazing dig and she finishes it with equal skill. They came back in their gold medal winning match at the Vienna Major. In early August, they were behind the play in the opening set, behind the play in the tie break set. So you're absolutely right, Dane, with regards to Australia needing to get that buffer because they have confidence the Czech Republic of coming off the pace and wrapping up the match. There's the guess again by Artacho. Ball goes the other direction. She cannot make the move. If she just waits, holds, she's so quick that she could run down just about all these shots. Australia are looking for it six to four now. Lovely back set from Clancy. That's a nice poke shot. You can tell that's one of her favorites, the knuckle pokey, and she has great command of it, putting it exactly where she wants. Nice and composed volleyball. The pass was off the net, they didn't panic. Zukova comes in, takes a look at the defense. Gets good rotation on the ball right over the block into the sand. And Czech Republic still trying to keep it together. They haven't really caught fire at all in this match. Run off a lot of points. There's the over on two. Once again, you know it's coming, but very difficult to stop once Artacho passes it to the right spot. The Czech Republic has to stop serving Artacho. Those kind of, I call them lollipops, are easy serves. They have to be tough so that she cannot set up her partner so well. Look at that serve. A net violation by Slukova and a point. This is the cushion that I'm saying Australia needs. If they can get out to this three or four point cushion, then the Czech Republic is in all sorts of trouble. Clancy to serve. Sticking with the plan of Torbjörn Slukova. Shot from Artaccio. There's the buffer that they needed. Four points clear. Heading to 15, not 21 in the third set. And Australia. I don't want to say it too soon, Dane. But it looks like they're starting to take control of this match. Yeah, they're playing well right now. Look at the emotion, the yell out of Artaccio. She's been trying to get this early morning crowd behind her. And really emotional right now. She knows how important it is. She knows how much is on the line. And we love to see that kind of fire right now. Artaccio stepping up her emotion and stepping up her game. Czech Republic call a timeout as Australia go four points clear. The Aussies won the first set, 21 to 13. Czech Republic came back, 21 to 19. But Australia now in a very comfortable position, a very handy advantage to say at the least. And here we see the Czech Republic once again battling to stay in the match. Yeah, it would be it would be somewhat of a magic trick if the Czech Republic could win this. The way that they have played, not what we're accustomed to seeing, not what they're used to. Well, there's Herman over saying. We may have that magic trick just yet. That was a big hit. That really was it. And you can kind of start to see the urgency on the face of Hermanova, knowing that, you know what, time is starting to run out. Yeah. They have to play with a sense of urgency right now. 
Look over with service. Attacho. Now on the attack for Australia. And she has uh, been able to just poke that ball over the top of the block on numerous occasions now. Such a smart play right there. Seeing the court, no power needed, just a little bit of finesse. Such an important point on the board, this one for the Czech Republic. Nice little roll shot, kisses the top of the net. And fortunately lands, but Hermanova needs to strike right now. They need to start to close this gap. Great up. And there it is right there. How about the set from Marketa Stulkova from way off the net to her partner. There's Hermanova. As we said, she has gotten so good at dropping off the net, controlling the defensive dig, and now converting it to offense. Look at that extension with her right hand. She gets it up. Then the set is delivered by the Slukova and the nice roll shot in the corner. So just when they need a point, the Czech Republic strikes. They get the point, and now it's a matter of using this momentum to continue to close the gap. Emanova serves Otecha. Fancy again over on two. But this time the Czech Republic have it covered. Hermanova goes over on two. Yeah! And sorts it out with Clancy at the net. Czech Republic just one point behind Australia now. Australia looked like they really had control of things. But you know, we mentioned the sense of urgency, and guess what? Hermanova, Zvukova doing whatever it takes to make it happen right now. causing Artaccio problems. Well, it's not the, I, I don't believe that the serve is causing them problems. I think Artaccio is trying to set Talika Clancy up on the second contact. Yeah. And you try to put the ball too close to the net, it ends up going over, and Sukova Hermanova making them pay for it. So it's a matter, see, this. she's in the right position. It's a good pass, but she just tries to put it too tight to the net, and it goes over. That's a good and that, that you make, Dane. You know that's the risk of having that over on the second contact offense as a priority. Is sometimes you get in trouble. And what a run! Four consecutive points. We were at ten to six, and now we're all deadlocked at ten. So Kova read that perfectly and puts it away. With the same amount of accuracy and skill, Czech Republic take the lead right down to the business end of this third set tie break. Perfect read. She gets in position. Slukova gets to the outside. This time, cranking that ball cross court. And right now, I believe Australia in all sorts of trouble. Looked like this maybe was a foregone conclusion at 10 to 6. Not so. Not letting fucking have it today, okay? Yeah, let's go. But that's kangaroo. That's fast. The kangaroo is dancing. Well, uh... Our apologies for the uh, unfortunate language there, but you can see how much this means to Australia. And uh, this is now having done so much good work, the make or break for this Australian team going to the bronze medal or to the gold medal match.
Both sides have used their timeouts. We're heading to 15. You need to be two points clear. Hermanova with the service here. Clancy sets Artacho. Artacho attacks for Australia. Hermanova drops off the nets, reads it well. Plays the ball deep into the Australian court. Back set. And there's the point for Australia to tie the scores at 11 all. How about that right there? Roll shot to the deep corner for the winner. Hermanova had an opportunity with a great dig during that rally, but give a lot of credit to Clancy and Artacho. It's another big serve from Clancy. Yes! Well, uh, Hermanova has kept the fight alive for the Czech Republic. Beautiful set, little inside out, roll shot over the top of the block. Artacha nowhere to be found in the backcourt. So right now, Hermanova and Slukova really trying to pull a magic trick, not playing their best volleyball, but somehow putting it together to be in striking distance to get the victory here in the semifinal. Oh, that ball is on the line. Perfectly placed from uh, Mare Artacho. Really a great shot. If she goes down the line, Hermanova digs that, but she goes somewhat in the middle of the two opponents and gets the kill. Lovely shot from Slikova. It's the first uh, smile we've seen from Marquetta in this semi-final. She enjoyed that one. She's had more than her first share of frustrations. She's been going to that little roll shot over the block of Clancy, and it's been extremely successful. The set's somewhat in the middle of the court. Makes it a lot easier to go over the block, and there's a lot of frustration with Artaggio and Clancy right now. Probably can't believe they're in this position. Oh, oh that service is out of play. We're all tied at 13 all. Not even close right there. Six aces. Cross court shot from uh, Marketa Slukova. Match point for the Czech Republic here. Unbelievable turnaround. Beautiful pass right there. You look at the platform, it's out. She puts it up perfectly. That's a great offensive look. That's how offense should be. Pass it forward, everything moving forward. And it's been a struggle receiving serve today for Slukova. One point away now from advancing. Oh, Artacho ties the scores. 14 all. Artacho has been solid all day long. She's been getting the majority of the serves, and she has been coming up with some great shots, some really solid decisions. When they need a point, it seems like she's stepping up and making it happen. Can they close the door? Yeah! Oh, they give it right back. Those little mistakes start to really catch up to you. Remember, the last time these two teams played was in pool play of this event, and the Czech Republic won 16-14. Will it be the same score here? Match point number two. Yes, yes. Well, I'm not sure serving Clancy is the way forwards for the Czech Republic. Changing their minds with their service tactic in the big points in the third tie-break set, I'm not sure is the way to go. I like, you know, switching it up. I mean, maybe you catch her asleep and you take you take out that over on the second contact, but de definitely didn't work that time. Here is Clancy with 
another big serve. It's a much better serve received from Slukova. And she puts it away in the corner of the court to give the Czech Republic their third match point now. Wow, how many opportunities will they have? That's a miss hit. She does not even get on top of the ball. I don't know how it ended up staying in the court. She's got a little smirk on her face because she knows she got away with one right there. That ball could have ended up five feet long. Both Australian players going for the serve. Oh, Svitova puts the Czech Republic into the gold medal match. And that must be one of the biggest turnarounds of the 2018 season. You can understand why there are tears of joy. We had ridden off the Czech Republic in the early